Hey there, this is Chetan and welcome to CRNT Designers. In this Blender tutorial, you are going to learn the importance of the each flow on the curved surface. So without further ado, let's get started. To create that detail, I need to add the cylinder and I'm going with the 32 words. Then go to the rate mode and select its top and bottom face and then delete it. It will reduce our efforts. Then add the center loop cuts like this. You need to add the bunch of loop cuts. And that's look good. We need to add few more loop cuts. So add mid loop cuts like this and between these loop cuts. And now you need to select the faces with the cross selection. After that, you need to use the insert operation add there. So press I for the insert operation. The next thing, you need to add the loop cut like this. Then dissolve these edges with the control X. And now you can select the words and use the edge slide add there to give the right position to them. In this way. Then you can select these edge loops and use the shape flow add there. Then select the words and then right click connect vertex path. Create a path in between the words. Then just need to dissolve these edges which create triangles. And then you need to add the loop cut like this. Then dissolve the edges and select the words right click connect vertex path and create a path in between the words. And then just take the symmetry so we can dissolve these edge loops. Select them and dissolve them. Now you can see that's look good. I just need to take the little bit of symmetry one more time. So take the symmetry along the x axis. And now I just want to give the right position to this edge loop. So you can select this edge loop and double tap G for the edge slide. And now that's look good. You can see we are facing little bit of dent at there. Just we need to adjust the position of the words along their normal axis. So you can select the words and move them along their normal. And just try to match the curvature of that cylinder, that cylindrical form. And easily you can do this. And we can avoid that dent and we will get the good shading at there. Just adjust the position of the words little bit. And now that's look good. Okay, now you can select this edge loop and then press Alt S to scale it along its normal. Then you need to hit the Ctrl 2 to add subdivision on it. So we will get the smooth shading. Then select these faces with the shortest path selection and then press I for the insert operation. Give the proper thickness for the insert operation. And now you can see we are getting smooth harder edge at there and decent looking detail. Just take the symmetry along the x axis. That looks really well. Then shade smooth it. And you can see we are not getting any weird shading add there. Then you need to add the loop cut like this. And you need to use the shade flow add there. We have added one loop cut in the vertical direction to maintain that structure. But to maintain the cylindrical form, we need to add similar kind of vertical loop cuts. So add those kind of loop cuts and use the shade flow on them. To maintain the cylindrical form. You need to add the vertical loop cuts in the alternate way. Similar kind of loop cuts you need to add for remaining part of the cylinder. Add the loop cuts then select them and use the shade flow. So you will get smooth decent looking shading. Then take the symmetry along the x and y axis. And now you can see we are getting that smooth detail. Yeah you can take the symmetry along the y axis also. So you will get the same kind of details to the back side and that will also look good. You can see easily we have created this kind of detail. This is the good way to create this kind of detail. Now I will show you another way which we use sometimes. This kind of way gives you weird shading. We should avoid this way to create this kind of details. It is also depend the which kind of details you want to create. We should try to avoid this way to create this kind of details. And yeah, the way of your modeling is also depend on the details which you want to create. You can see, I'm getting the same kind of details, little bit of difference at there. And you can see the edge flow is also different. Maybe you can't see that weird shading on this cylinder. So that's why I'm creating this another one. And with the same modeling methods, I have created this detail on this different cylinder. And you can see, we are facing that weird shading. And you can see its edge flow. It is like an intersection edge flow. 
it's not the right edge flow for the curve structure and that cylindrical form that's why we are facing that weird shading but in this cylinder you can see this edge flow which is right and which follows the edge flow of the cylinder that's why we are getting this good shading and good topology so that's why your edge flow also matters a lot this thing also you need to consider while modeling so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to youtube channel bye bye so next video take care